Hi guys, Vex here. And something a lot of people have been requesting is to watch me playing my own maps. Uh, this is Super Hostile number 10, Spellbone Caves. And I guess I can't do a proper let's play of it. So I think of this more as a more of a uh, developer commentary where I go through the map and play it and then explain you know the different areas and what I was thinking when I made them uh, but before I get into the commentary I need to focus real quick and start this map off properly this area is open to the sky And at nighttime, it can get somewhat unpleasant. And you know what? Actually, hold on a sec. There we go. Yeah, uh, the first thing I, I do when playing a map is survey my immediate surroundings. And what I notice immediately, if I was, uh, if I didn't make this map, and I was playing it just as a normal player and I came in here and I would take a look I was like okay it's gonna be nighttime eventually and while there is glowstone illuminating the ground here there are a lot of places where at nighttime it will be totally dark like right there where I'm looking at all over here so this area is gonna get really dangerous at nighttime so did I get the uh, battle sign out of here no I didn't yeah I need this Okay, so knowing that, I'm going to uh, move along and not waste time looking around just yet. <sighs> oh, oh yeah, uh... Some people wonder if they're supposed to get a, a sapling there. No, you're not. You're supposed to have limited resources when you first start off. Uh, let me think. Right, hmm. And one, th the one thing I see some people doing is making a wooden pick. Um, and I, I just, I don't know why people do that. Why do you make a wooden pick when you've got this cobblestone right here? I guess they don't they don't think about it or uh, I have to say one thing about making a uh, let's play that you know if you're a viewer you might not think about is it's kind of hard to maintain an interesting monologue and constantly talk while you're also focusing on the game um, and that's why I think you know some LPers you know make silly mistakes you know like making a wooden pick it's just that they're focused on you know, trying to be interesting and entertaining and their heads not fully in the game. Speaking of which, uh, there's an experience packet over here that contains bone meal as well, so let me go get that experience. Die! Nope, no bone meal. Okay, that experience packet did not have any bone meal in it. Uh, I don't need gunpowder to go away. I think, hold on a sec, um... I'll be right back. I think my mouse is acting odd. Hey, I'm back. Um, yeah, I have a, a really cool mouse. It's the uh, Cyborg Rat 7 gaming mouse. And, uh, and the only downside is that the eye is really sensitive. And if any dust gets in there, it starts acting a little wonky, which has gotten me killed before in some games. But, uh, oh, bloody. No, go away. I'm not ready for you yet. I wanted this coal here. This hallway that I'm in, it, uh, if you're playing the map, this hallway makes a very good base to set up in. Um, 
<laughs> this is my Christmas skin that I made. Uh, Zombie Cleo actually made it for me. I think it makes me look sort of like Mario. What do you guys think? Is it... Yeah. Maybe Mario if he was wearing, like, tactical engineering gear or something. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, I hope I don't run into any creepers down here. So as you can see, there's a lot of uh, a lot of experience packets in the way here, and you've got to cut your way through them. Ah. Oh, you were in fighting too, and I interrupted you. Damn, I hate doing that. Oh, my health stopped regenerating. I'm just going to chill here for a second. Uh. <laughs> that creeper almost uh, blew up the enchanting table. That would have been kind of annoying. Oh, good. Smite one. That'll help. Now, the bad thing about this is in here... Uh, I know there's spawners outside. And... Yeah, there's one right there. Oh, you son of a... Mm. Mm. Oh, you're going to shoot me, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, good. I didn't get food poisoning that time. Okay, come on, then. <laughs> God, are you that eager to die? There. Hello, creeper. Goodbye, creeper. Hello, spider. Goodbye, spider. Hello, spider. Goodbye, spider. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so that's the first area of this dungeon cleared. Um, it can get really crowded with monsters, but as long as you persevere and keep swinging your sword, you shouldn't have too much problem with it. Uh, although, you saw, um, when playing, I, the best advice I can give is uh, remember to block. The blocking is borderline overpowered, and it's, it's blocking and the new armor uh, system that I'm trying to balance around. You, I mean, you saw me uh, right here as I backed up. I actually backed into a creeper like an idiot. And I blocked, which cuts the damage received in half. Uh, and I actually survived getting shot at and taking a point-blank uh, creeper explosion. And I am playing on normal, yes. Um, oh, another thing. I balance around normal difficulty, so this gives you a tool to tweak the difficulty of the map. If it's too easy, you can go on hard, and if it's getting too rough for you, you can turn it down to easy. And uh, but if you want to play it just normally, you know, normal difficulty. Uh, that's what I, you know, I try to balance around normal, so you can tweak the difficulty a little bit on the map. Uh, all right. Yes. Now, do I want to enchant this right away, or do I want to harvest more of the experience packets out of this dungeon and then enchant it? I'm thinking the later. And... None of this stuff is immediately useful. So I'm going to leave it there for now. Oh! Oh yeah. Yeah, potions are also incredibly uh, powerful. Um, a regeneration potion combined with armor 
in most cases will just make you immortal. So let me get these potions on my bar. And now that I've got this diamond uh, diamond chest combined with blocking, I'll uh, really have an edge versus these creatures down here. Now go ahead and blow up. There. Did you kill the skeleton? No, you did not. Too much to ask, huh? Okay. Man. The start of this map uh, can be pretty rough, um, especially if you're not used to this much combat in Minecraft, because normal Minecraft uh, does not send uh, this many enemies at you. So if you're unaccustomed to it, I mean, it can look almost impossible. Um, how's my food doing? Okay, I've got a spider eye. Oh, spider eyes. While I'm on the topic of food, uh, spider eyes make pretty good food when you're safe. Watch what happens. They've poisoned me for four seconds when you eat them. Um, however, I've gotten my health back into the regeneration territory. And so even though they did poison me, my health is just going to come back. So that's, uh, so that's a good trade-off. Uh, I would not eat spider eyes in the middle of combat because it does poison you. Um, in that case, you're better off going with the zombie flesh, which poisons your hunger bar instead of your health bar. Uh, Joe Hills played this map. He beta tested this map for me, and he did not investigate where this light source was coming from. But uh, and he managed, but he managed to get through this area with, I believe, a stone sword, not enchanted, uh, Dawnbringer Paladin's Blade. This sword makes this coming area very easy, and I'm going to take the chest too. Whew. Okay, let's do this. Uh, are you going to blow up? I'm pretty sure what's going to happen. Yep. Oh, I had him infighting again. Come on. Alright, there's one. You're not infighting. You are, though. Thank you, Creeper. That was a... That was a real help. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you're gonna blow up. Okay. Infighting. I really do like this the uh, this new combat compared to the old style. Um, the regenerating health makes things easy. Look at this infighting right here. God, they're so stupid. You so stupid. Yes, you are. You so stupid. Yes, you are. So stupid. Are you guys just gonna stay there till the end of the time? Oh wow. Oh no! Oh. Oh, there's a creeper. That was awesome. Alright, so... Ah, I thought I cleared this place. Is that it? That's it, isn't it? Nope. Mm, two creepers. I'm gonna have you just blow up here. Blow up. There. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you see that, right? Uh, blocking is very powerful, and as long as you remember to do it, you'll be just fine. And I think... A lot of people who have trouble with combat, uh, I don't know why I'm taking these. A lot of people who have trouble with combat is they're not utilizing the block system properly. Because um, as long as as long as you use all the tools you know that you have available, uh, this map should be fairly easy. You know what? Oh, why did I do that? Yeah, and I, and I know I'm breaking a cardinal rule by taking all the wool, but 
I'm pretty confident that I'll be okay. Now, you noticed I did not destroy these spawners. Uh, that's because uh, this is an experienced spawner with arrows and bone meal, and this is an experienced spawner with uh, food. So I, I don't know why people blow up these experienced spawners. Uh, it helps if you if you think of the monsters not as enemies but as walking experience packets that you need to harvest. Uh, once you go into the map with that kind of mentality, uh, it it helps. Okay. So I don't really need to farm food. I've got all this rotten flesh on me, and I'll probably keep harvesting a ton of it as the map goes on. Um. Go ahead. No friends? I thought uh, I could have sworn that there were more of you guys. Yeah, come on. Bring your friends out. There they are. Uh, again, with the silverfish, I'm not sure what the big deal is about silverfish. They're really easy to kill. Um, all they are is just really easy to get experience. Um, so, diamond chest plate. I really, um, I really want to stockpile a lot of experience and then, uh, enchant this thing and get something really awesome on it. Take your time. I'll wait. I mean... You know, I don't need to be the world police. I won't intervene. <clears throat> you gonna shoot me? No, you're gonna shoot the creeper. Who is going to live? Oh, uh, I know what's gonna happen if I walk out here. There's gonna be a creeper on the ledge above me. Oh, good, more infighting. Uh, he's gonna drop right on me as soon as I walk out here. So I'm just gonna run out here. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to run out here. I need to wait till daytime. Because it's nighttime out there, and like I said, nighttime out there is really rough. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. Uh, I forgot to dig a uh, two block high trench around that starting ruins. Uh, because if you do that, all you really need to worry about from that point is spiders. Okay, uh, I guess this is a decent stopping point here. Um, I will sit here and look at all this awesome loot and just wait for daytime. Alright, until then, take it easy, guys.